So now in this this video here, what I'd like to do is I'd like to talk to you about menus. Okay, now WordPress, this theme especially, and WordPress in general, it's automatically going to add all your pages to the standard menu theme here. And you may or may not want that on there. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to show you how you can change some things around. So if you go to Appearance and then over to Menus right here, okay, you're going to see that we can give, we can create a custom menu if we'd like. So what well, I'm going to, I'm going to just call this New Menu, okay, I'm going to click on Create Menu, all right, and what we can do is we can either decide to automatically add new top level pages, Okay, we could add even a new menu if we wanted to. Or we can choose what pages and whatnot that we want to appear on our menu. So perhaps maybe we just want our privacy policy to appear on our menu. If we click Add to Menu, you're going to see that in our new menu, this privacy policy is in there. Okay? And just the privacy policy is in there. So what I want you to do is click on Save Menu. Okay. And now what we need to do is we need to tell the theme that we want to use this new menu. So we'll go ahead and click on Save. Select the new menu, then click on Save. And I want to show you just a little difference. So right now we have all three pages that we have on our site. Our home page, our privacy policy page, and a sample page showing up on our menu. But I didn't want that. I didn't want all those pages showing up on the menu. I just want the privacy policy. So if we just go ahead and click refresh here, you're going to see that now our menu is only showing the privacy policy. Okay, so when someone's on a post, they're not going to be shown all those other pages. All right, so that's just a way that you can have your menus working and if we we put it back to how it was and hit refresh you're gonna see that all three pages now once again are showing up on the menu so if you don't want anything to show up on the menu we could like go ahead remove this click save okay and we'll tell it to show the new menu click save again and now look, when we refresh this, you're going to see that there's absolutely no menu at all on here. Okay, but menus, it's a good way to set up your navigation, show your important pages up on the menu. Like if you were going to have a website that was selling something, you'd want to have an order page up on there, or a specials page. So that's just a way that you can do your menus inside of WordPress. By now, you should be able to without too much trouble go ahead and install WordPress set up you know the configuration on WordPress add some posts add some pages add some pictures and video to your website to your WordPress site and then all of a sudden you've got yourself a working functioning WordPress site so I hope you've enjoyed these videos go back and you know learn about the plugins that you've installed um, Go ahead, rewatch these videos. They should help you, and I hope they've been a help for you. Thank you very much.